I got a swag you can never get. ACBA, we repping it. So there have been a lot of reviews out for the Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot, Builder Figure Wave figures. So a lot of different reviews out there, a lot of people's point of views and perspectives. And for the most part, most people agree on one thing, that uh, there were some hits and misses of the waves. And most people agree uh, which figures were the best. So I'm really just here to kind of do something I haven't done in a long time. And I'm looking at the best and the worst of the wave. So we'll start with the bad news first. I feel like Rocket Raccoon was probably the worst figure of the wave. But I feel like Gamora was probably a close second. But I feel like... Rocket Raccoon is the worst because they actually already did a Rocket Raccoon. And I feel like if you've done a figure already and you do another version of that figure, then some things that you didn't get right the first time you should be able to fix and you should be able to make a superior figure. So here's the first version of Rocket Raccoon. And this is the comic uh, accurate version and his Guardians of the Galaxy garb that he wore. Um, and the last version of the Guardians of the Galaxy, not the most current one. This is not really how he looks in the comics right now. But what they got right about the figure was that the head was on a ball joint that gets a nice full range of motion. The mouth can open. That was cool. The waist turns. The arms move. He did have a little rotation and a little joint at the elbow and could swivel at the glove and... You know, that was good. And they got the tail right. It's on a ball joint. It can move around. Would have been nice if they actually had put some articulation in here. And you can move it at another point here. Maybe at the middle of the tail. But there was no leg articulation at all. And that's where they dropped the ball on this particular so figure. So fast forward to the Marvel Legends. Guardians Groot Wave. Rocket Raccoon here. And you have a really nice looking figure. Uh, like I said in a uh, main course, which I shot a couple of segments for a couple of days ago, which will be out after this review. I said, you know, I like the way he looks in a nice vanilla stance and his arms can go to the side. And he's a nice looking figure, but they went backwards as far as the articulation is concerned. The head is not really on a ball joint. I mean, it is on a ball joint but because of how they have the neck. The head can't really rotate like it could on the uh, previous comic accurate version so when you turn the head it just kind of looks silly there's no uh, pivot to it really there's no uh, angle that you can make it where it looks cool where he's turning the head so that's one uh, now the arms do move uh, pretty much in the same fashion as the other one um, would have been nice if they actually gave him a hinge on the wrist the wrist does turn the waist does turn but again no leg articulation at all would have been perfect if they just put in a break at the knee, give him some knee articulation, give him a hinge on the foot, and then they even went backwards as far as the tail is concerned. Now the tail only spins around like that. They could have easily just made that into a ball joint and made it at least move as much as the comic accurate version, but they went backwards. Now you got this figure that can barely move, and this could have been one of the funnest figures in the wave, but they dropped the ball, half-stepping and not going a mile, not going a full mile and giving you a, a really, really fun uh, action figure. You know, you got more of a staction figure, as Sentry would say, as, as opposed to an action figure. So, because of that, I got to do this. I mean, come on, Hasbro. He's a little wily, foul mouth raccoon. He's supposed to be able to jump around and move around. It needed an ab crunch, it needed knee articulation, uh, hinge in the foot, it needed all of that so you could actually get this guy into some great setups and great displays. And that's why this figure is rejected, in my opinion. Come on, Hasbro. And then, on the same token, you have this. The Hasbro Marvel Legends Nemesis Wave Nova. This was their first crack at Nova. Uh, this was supposed to be his original classic look and this figure is garbage straight doodle -doo. this was probably one of the worst waves ever put out by hasbro it, it probably is the worst wave ever put out as far as paint and articulation and the head sculpts on each figure this particular figure actually has decent articulation i mean they used a pretty decent buck for him but overall the figure is trash but they redeemed themselves they came back came back around Gave us the Nova that we actually want. Bam.
Look at that. Look at the paint applications. Great accuracy to the actual comic character. Great articulation. They use the Bucky Cap mode. As a matter of fact, Bucky Cap figure was one of uh, the figures that brought Hasbro back to say, wow, these guys are really, really doing it. I mean, they use that mold a lot since then. But when Bucky Cap came out, so many people were amazed with that figure and with that buck. And uh, so a good use here. Everything looks excellent on this figure. It did a great job. They rebounded well. And it gave us a modern Nova that we really want. Here he is in some action. So all around, great figure. Most importantly, articulation is on point. The look is on point as far as uh, comic accuracy. And you actually get to round out a few teams too. Uh, Nova appeared in the very first version of that Secret Avengers group. Even though he only appeared in a couple of issues before he ran off into space again. But still, that was the last character that we were missing. He was the main character in Annihilation, which was a excellent cosmic story uh and that's during the time that i actually had a little squirmish with drax you see here and drax is the uh this is the original comic version of drax i believe that the drax that came in the wave with this nova is probably a close second uh or could have been the most uh the best figure in the wave had it been this version of drax on the groot wave buck um but because of that, I think Nova is the best figure in this wave and absolutely deserves the ACBA seal of approval. Frisbee. Boom. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more best of and worst of in the wave and more uh, rejected figures, more approved figures. Moving forward, like I said, this is something that I haven't done in a while. And it's actually a lot of figures that are out there that deserve the, the seal of approval that have come out over the past uh, year or two. Uh, I think probably the last figure that I gave the seal to was um, maybe the Link figure, uh, the Figma Link figure. So it's been quite a while. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. Peace. That's crispy.